Welcome to the award-winning Coral Gables Now. I'm Belkis Perez. Plans are moving along to bring an assisted living facility to Coral Gables. Uh, and to tell us what we can expect in the year to come is Adam Rosenblum. He is the VP of Marketing and Sales for the Palace Group. Thank you so much, Abbott, Adam, for being here. Thank you for having us, uh, Belkis. So tell me about, uh, you know, we, ha we don't have a palace uh, here in Coral Gables right now. Tell me about this group in other cities. Absolutely. Uh, the Palace Group has been in business since 1980, and uh, we're actually pretty close neighbors to Coral Gables. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a campus in Kendall mm -hmm. where we have four different senior living communities, ranging from independent living through assisted living through our award-winning skilled nursing and rehabilitation center. We also have two campuses in the Homestead area. Mm -hmm. One is assisted living and one is a nursing home and we have an active adult community in Weston. Does the Kendall one uh, is going to be, is the Coral Gables one going to be similar to the Kendall one in, in that it has the assisted living component and the independent living? Tell me about that. Yeah, the main difference between the two campuses, well one, of course the Gables is going to be a high rise mm -hmm. and our community in Kendall is a four, uh, four story building. Uh, the Kendall pr uh, property also has a skilled nursing and rehab center which we will not have here. But in the Gables, we will have independent living uh -huh. and assisted living. And, assisted. and it will be very much in line with the high finishing and the overall beauty of, the, uh, of our existing properties, although we're taking it a step even further uh, with Carl Gables, and we're real excited about that. Tell me about the location. Yeah, the location is, is excellent location, centrally located mm -hmm. right in the middle of the Gables uh, on Andalusia, right in between Galliano and Douglas Road. We are on the north side of Andalusia, that's where the property is going to be. Uh, for those old timers here familiar with the Melody Inn, we purchased that. It's going to become part of our building. And then there's an adjacent parking lot just to the east of that, mm -hmm. a city parking lot. And we are going to be taking that piece of land, and that's where we are going to be developing the project. We also are going to be demolishing the uh, parking garage on the south side of Andalusia, directly across the street, mm -hmm. and building a state-of-the-art parking structure there with 542 parking spaces. So we will take the parking spaces that we have and we will add replacement parking as well. And you know what, the location couldn't be any better. You, you're for what, walking distance to Miracle Mile, which yeah. is a great area to just... It, it's the best, especially yeah. for, for the seniors. Having Miracle Mile there is a, is a great benefit. Mm -hmm. There will also be a walkway that will go, a pass through that will go through the center of the building, mm -hmm. allowing people access from the parking garage through the building directly to uh, Miracle Mile. Mm -hmm. So yeah, to have all the shops and the restaurants available within walking distance, it's a great benefit. What, what attracted the palace to Coral Gables? The palace has wanted to go to Coral Gables. It's been on our radar for probably the last 15 or 20 years. <laughs> uh, the owners of the palace have always been very excited about the opportunity to go to the Gables, and it was just looking for the right opportunity. And when the city presented the RFP a few years ago to develop this property, it seemed like a win-win situation both for us and for the city. Also for the adult children, it feels a, a, a void as well because the kids, maybe their parents live out of town, but they live in the Gables and they want to have mom or dad closer to them. And this really helps them as well because they could have mom close but not living with them. Exactly. And they don't have to worry about them because we're going to have the independent living and the assisted living down the road. If somebody needs more help, we're going to have that available. Yeah. So it really provides a great peace of mind, not just for the senior, but for their kids as well. So okay. it, it fills a void in both, uh, in a couple aspects. Now, can you tell us about the palace in Coral Gables? Um, is this a place where people with physical limitations can go to? Is it just for, the, for people who need medical attention? Or is the independent going to be really independent? Yeah, as part of the RFP that the city presented, and they really did their homework uh, with this RFP, they mandated that the community has to be 80% independent living and 20% assisted living. And we agree with them, so there was no issue there. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're going to do. The building will be nine stories tall, mm -hmm. and it will have a total of 245 apartments, of which 198 will be independent living, and the remainder will be assisted living. So the primary part of this community will be geared for those people who are active, independent, who are in those big homes, but don't really have the social stimulation anymore. They don't want to maintain their homes anymore. It's really geared for them. But we will have that component available as well for those who need assistance with 
things like bathing, dressing, mm -hmm. medication monitoring, that will be available in, our, in the assisted living portion. And then um, what makes the palace the palace is that you're going to have also a lot of amenities that come with it, even if you are in the independent living Absolutely. aspect. Tell me about those. That, that's really the main benefit of being in a palace community are the amenities and services that we offer. To have everything at your fingertips is a real benefit. And we always dedicate a great amount of public spaces to our buildings. I mean, we, anybody could build a nice uh, apartment. We are about the public areas and we have over 20,000 square feet of public spaces in our building of which we are going to have a, a beautiful dining room, uh, a cafe bar, a theater, mm. oh, a wellness center with uh, physicians offices there, a fitness center, business center. Everything will be there for the senior mm -hmm. for the, to avail themselves to and it'll all be right there. And also, so the fitness center, uh, it, this will be something that the residents can take care, take advantage of uh, as Absolutely. Well. I mean, people come here to maintain their independence, to stay active, both socially and physically. So we'll be able to help in, in both ways. Now, what senior needs do you think you're addressing? And I think you've touched on this already. Uh, by establishing yourself in Coral Gables, what issues do you think you're addressing for seniors? Is it the need to stay independent in a way? Yeah, a absolutely. I mean, people want to maintain their independence yeah. as, long, as long as they can. Mm -hmm. And by being here, they stay healthier, mm -hmm. they, they have more services, and they have more support services available as well. You know, if their blood pressure is high, they can go downstairs and talk to somebody to talk to a nurse. You don't really have that in, in the home setting. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we've learned that through the years, when people move to communities like this, they live longer because they're, they're happier. Uh, depression doesn't set in like it normally does at home. And people are stimulated. So it really is, is a great benefit to the seniors. Um, the, there's a lot of talk about a waiting list, a waiting list. Uh, people have called uh, our offices and, and just asked, you know, how can we get on this waiting list? Tell me about if there is a waiting list. Yeah, it's really a yes and no answer there, Belkis, because as you said, we, we've been getting a tremendous uh, response uh, to this project. As we, we said, it fills a need in the marketplace, and people are excited about it. But the bottom line is we don't want to take deposits too early. Uh, we are going to begin our marketing in the early part of next year. And as part of the RFP with the city, we promised Coral Gables residents and their families that the first 90 days that we take deposits will be limited to the Gables families and the residents. And after that, we will take it from the outside community. So we have received thousands of phone calls mm -hmm, for this project, mm -hmm. and we have a nice database of people to call as soon as we get started. Mm -hmm. But when we start taking deposits, it will be specifically for Coral Gables residents and their families. That's nice to know. Uh, and then you expect to start construction next year? Yes, we do. Okay. We're in the final stages with the uh, Board of Architects and making sure that the building is aesthetically pleasing on the outside as it is on the inside. And we're really excited as the, the look of the building. Yeah, it's looking good. And it, it'll be a fantastic addition to the city. And it's going to be complete in 20... 12. 12 yes should be complete by 2012 so yes. just you know keep uh, you know stay informed on everything that's going on we'll obviously here keep you informed and also uh through golden gables we'll give you regular updates but um thank you adam uh you can also you can also get more information by just logging on to the palace website and that's uh www.thepalace.org you can also call their offices at 305-271 2220. And Coral Gables now is just getting started. Up next, meet the Coral Gables resident who was honored with one of the most prestigious awards given to a senior. The hot summer days have arrived here in sunny South Florida, but there's one place here in Coral Gables where you can keep cool. I'll tell you the name of it coming up on City News. Thanks Rodolfo, and it's hard to believe, but we are in hurricane season. We'll show you how the fire department prepares and what you should be doing to prepare right now. We'll be right back.